Hello and welcome to the news at 10. Good evening and we start our news coverage tonight with about nine days ongoing outbreak of South Yorkshire Respiratory Syndrome in Sheffield which started in the areas of Broomhall and Crooks. We now have confirmed, breaking news coming in, 36 are now confirmed dead from the coronavirus. Now over to our health correspondent to find out more about the outbreak. Thank you, Rita. I'm here at Hallamshire Hospital where there's been a recent discovery of a new disease identified as the South Yorkshire Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, or SYRS virus for short, which is similar to an existing disease, the MERS coronavirus. The virus is airborne and highly infectious with 456 suspected cases and 220 confirmed cases over the past nine days. Symptoms include fever, headaches, vomiting and breathing difficulties. The SYRS virus is shown to be lethal, with a worrying 36 dead as a result of contracting the virus. Members of the Secretary of State's Expert Committee have approved distribution of an experimental vaccine. The vaccine was developed initially for the MERS coronavirus and is shown to be 95% effective in animal tests. It has not passed clinical trials and has only been deployed on an emergency basis. Novartis, the pharmaceutical company in charge of distributing the virus, are only capable of producing 100,000 doses weekly. This vaccine is highly experimental, but with the lethality of the virus, there is no current alternative for the protection against this virus. Earlier, we spoke to members of the public to see their opinions on the availability and efficacy of this vaccine. Well, actually, I'm really angry about it. I've just been to the hospital to try and get some vaccine for my kids. I've got three kids and an old mum who's not very well, and they won't give it us. I just live just down the road in Warcliffe, but they're just not letting us have it. How come? How come they've only got 100,000 vaccines? What's going on? I, I, I don't want to die. I want to live. I want my kids to live. It was absolutely fascinating news we just heard from our correspondents there. And to find out more about what the media reaction to this outbreak is, let's head over to the press review. Over to you. Good evening and welcome to News at 10 Press Review. As you can see here, we'll start off with the Daily Fail. I won't let my son's Somalian friend over for tea. Uh, this was said by Brenda, pictured here from Brimhill 31. She says this uh, as a result of the rumours going around that uh, the disease was rooted uh, in the Somalian community. She makes this statement despite the fact that the Somalian classmate doesn't live amongst the Somalian community. He lives in a separate part of town. So, um, here we have the Mardian. Authorities underprepared for the deadly outbreak. Um, it's just making a point, an uh, official statement made by the head police officer Andrew Wakefield at South Yorkshire Police Department. A Mrs. Workforce was unprepared for the deadly outbreak in Western Sheffield nine days ago. He claims it is solely not the fault of the police uh, for emergency pandemic teams communicate, communicated unclearly to us whether the virus required evacuation of the general public. Authorities have been accused by much of the general public of reacting far too slow and inefficiently. Many negative responses came from the general public via social media and much anger was directed at the uh, Twitter account of the South Yorkshire Police Department. And uh, that'll be all. I'm sure the people of Sheffield will be looking on to see whether that snow in fact does turn into ice. Now on to more serious news. So we now have confirmed very sad news that 36 people have died of the South Yorkshire Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus which has broken out over the last nine days in the areas of Crooks and Broomhall of our home city of Sheffield. To find out more about this outbreak, let's go over to our health correspondent to give us more details. Over to you. Thank you, Rita. I'm here at Hallamshire Hospital where we've been getting the latest report on the recent outbreak of the South Yorkshire Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, um, which has seen the death of 36 people, 220 cases, 
and a further 456 suspected cases reported today. Uh, symptoms include fever, headaches, vomiting and breathing difficulties with the airborne virus spreading rapidly as time progresses. There is currently no vaccine being administered despite reports that there is a possible vaccine that could have been used. The official advice from Public Health England states that those with mild symptoms should self-quarantine and call the NHS 111 service for further advice and those with more severe symptoms such as unconsciousness and severe breathing difficulties should call an ambulance immediately. The latest update is that two people with confirmed cases of the SYRS virus have reported to have recovered following the administration of supportive care whilst in hospital. However, the Harlemshire Hospital announced earlier today that they are at full capacity and have therefore had to turn patients to other hospitals in the Yorkshire and Hummer region. We spoke to members of the public earlier today to see what they think about the overcapacity in the hospital and the lack of an appropriate vaccine. Well, from what we've heard, they've got a vaccine and they've tested it and they're refusing to give it to us. It, it, it's a breach of human rights. It's completely unfair. There's no reason why they shouldn't give it to us. I mean, I'm a student. Loads, like half the student population has gone home because they're scared of this illness. If they haven't been vaccinated, they're going to be spreading it all around the country. It's ridiculous. Thank you very much. And now to get more on this story, we're going to head over and see what the media have been saying. What a, the press reaction to this outbreak. Let's go over and head to press review. Good evening. Welcome to News at 10 Press Review. We'll start again uh, here with the Daily Fail. Uh, a new deadly disease sparks apocalyptical scenes. Um, people describe queuing out of the train station and uh, police are concerned about public disorder as uh, many people desperately flee onto the trains. Um, in Brumil there have been many incidents of looting and violence overnight. Scenes are reminiscent of the London riots according to uh, Mike from uh, Brum Hall 36. Um, as it stands, 36 have died after only nine days, uh, with confirmed and suspected cases on a daily, daily exponential increase. Mick51 from Brimhill says, I'm scared to walk the streets alone now. Brimhill isn't how it used to be, and I fear for my wife and children. Move on to the Mardian here, it says, Vaccine for deadly SYRS COV virus, not safe for, press, um, for release. Um, this follows a pharmaceutical company Albex making a, a statement that it is not safe for it, uh, despite the test showing that the vaccine has a 95% effectiveness rate. And uh, the subjects complained of minor uh, to none side effects. Uh, the decision of the company has called much of the general public and a few MPs to be outraged. Labour MP Mike McBertie exclaimed, How can common medical procedure not be breached to save lives? How much longer will we wait? How many more people will die? 